Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, I'm going to show you the best portable tie-down system for your motorcycles to use in an RV toy hauler. Many of you who have been watching my videos know that I had a toy hauler cargo trailer that I converted. And if you look at that video, you'll notice I had permanent wheel chucks for that trailer and tracks in the floor. And because it was a cargo trailer, I really didn't carry it. I just put a carpet over it, so it'll stub my toes once more. When I picked up this RV toy hauler, You'll notice, you know, it's more of a camper. And we have two D-rings here, and then two D-rings in the back. But it's a finished floor, so I didn't want to permanently mount anything in here, because this couch folds down, and a table moves over. So I searched for a portable wheel chuck tie-down system, and I found one. It's by a company called Bolted On out of California, boltedon.com. Put their website up here. And Scott at that company, uh, if you go to their website, they have different sizes for varying trailers. But as you can see, my D rings are at a goofy spot. The great thing about Bolted On, they will make a custom bar for you, and there's no additional charge for the customization. They just cut it for you. They have excellent customer service and they ship their products right away and they're in constant contact with you. So I really uh, am excited about this system. So let me show you how it works. Now I got the system with two wheel chucks and we plan on putting switchback and the sporty in there. Now a lot of times I'll be just traveling with one so that'll be fine. But in the, on the occasions when I have two, I want to be able to try to haul both of them. Here is the system. The wheel chucks, right, your wheel rolls in there and it locks it into place and it holds, it helps hold it upright, which takes pressure off your tie down straps. And then I ordered the offset. And the reason I have the wheels offset is because I don't have a lot of space in there. So I can't have the handlebars uh, right next to each other. So by offsetting the wheels, the handlebars won't get in the way of each other. Now you can set these anywhere along the bar. Right, it's just a pop-up lever to move. And they use these triangle supports on the bottom and the way it's fastened they use these J-hooks. So that J-hook ties into the D-ring and then you tighten this down so it's secure on both sides. And that's it. So it's, it's just two J-hooks into those D-rings that hold it down. Now my, remember, my D-rings are uh, tied into the frame. And then you can stabilize them uh, in the back with these D-rings. There's a chance I might put a third D-ring right in the middle. I have to see how it does, uh, the way that's set up. But this is the portable system. It's about uh, under $600 for this system. That might seem expensive, but when you consider what you pay for an RV and what you pay for motorcycles, it seems relatively inexpensive to keep your investment secure. So I'm gonna install it and uh, we'll see how it works with the bikes. You can see how I just tighten down on this and it tightens it into the D-ring. I finish tightening this side down.
Okay, you see that's nice and tight because of these. That's not going anywhere. So now we can try to put a bike in here and see what happens. Bike is standing up by itself. Now, what I know is my motorcycle, if I'm gonna to try to get a second one in here, cannot be on that side. It has to be on this side because I have a little more room over here. So I'm gonna to have to flip the offset one to the other side and see if two of them will fit. See, that system is absolutely perfect for hauling them in here. So I'm gonna pull that one out and switch that around and then we'll try with the other bike. See how it does. Okay, I switched them around. So we're gonna run the switch back up on that side and see if we have enough room for the sporty. I can't go over any further. That's as far as I can go. So I'm going to see if I can get the sporty in here. Could be tight. Nothing's in the way. Now I'll put the pegs up. Uh, I can strap them down forward and what I'm thinking back here if I, if I take this off uh, I might be able to tie a bar in to the sides here so that they don't move side to side and then I can put a strap down on this side and a strap down on this side so this is tight for two bikes but you can see the system works and uh, it'll keep them in place uh, while I'm traveling. Now, 90% of the time, you know, I'm just taking one bike anyway, uh, and I'll have plenty of room. Uh, but it's comforting to know that I can take both bikes in the toy hauler if uh, Marie's gonna ride separately. So arriving for the inspection is motorcycle rider Marie the Sportster's her bike. Marie, what do you think of the new system? Looks like they fit. So there we go. No extra room, but they fit. <laughs> it's tight. And like I said, 90% of the time we're just taking one bike, uh, but for those occasions when we want to take both, we can do it with the bolt-on system. So I would encourage you to check it out. This is not a paid endorsement. I just simply uh, think that product is the best portable tie down system on the market today. I wanted to show you when I'm hauling a single bike how I would set it up in here with the bolted on system. Uh, and the wheel chucks, you can adjust and put them anywhere you want. So with one bike, I slid the wheel chuck to the center and you can see I got plenty of room on each side. I can use these tie downs to steady the bike. And then in the front, uh, these are for your tie downs so you can tie the front end down too and of course the wheel chuck you can see that wheel chuck really holding it so this system really gonna work well the bolted on system from bolted on in California uh, shout out to Scott who provides the best customer service of any company I've ever dealt with. Uh, really easy to work with. So that's the system. The number one thing you gotta remember is to make sure that your D-rings are tied into the frame of your RV. I actually climbed underneath to make sure. Uh, but this is gonna work really well. So look for a uh, video down the road. Uh, I think the first time we're gonna take the bike with is to Hidden Acres. So watch for the Hidden Acres Campground Review video to see the bikes.
If this video helped you out, consider subscribing to the channel. It's free. Also, if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time we put up a new video. And what else could they do, Maria, to help us out? Give us a thumbs up. So give that video a thumbs up. That helps too. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.